quadratic inequalities, we have this following problem. We want to solve this inequality. Solving inequalities means we want to find all x such that this statement become a true statement. Okay, so first we factor the left hand side into this x plus 2 times x minus 1. And then there are two cases whether the left hand side is equal to 0 or when the left hand side is not equal to 0. If the left hand side is equal to 0, then we have the statement that 0 is greater or equal to 0, which is of course a true statement. That implies that 1 and negative 2 are the solution because 1 and negative 2 are exactly the x the x that make the left hand side equal to 0 okay now let us consider the second case when the left hand side is not equal to 0 so there are three possibilities whether x greater than 1 between negative 2 and 1 and when x is less than negative 2 let's see what happens if x greater than 1 then take any number that is greater than 1, say 2, and then plug in to the left hand side. You can plug in here or there. If you plug in x equal to there, we will have the left hand side is equal to 4. So we have a statement that 4 is greater or equal to 0, which is again a true statement. That tells us that x, equal x greater than 1 is part of the solution of this inequality. Now let's check for x between negative 2 and 1. Pick any number between negative 2 and 1, such as 0. Plug in x equals 0 here or there. We will have negative 2 is greater or equal to 0, which is a false statement. So x between negative 2 and 1 is not part of the solution. Take x less than negative 2. Fix any x, say negative 3. Plug in negative 3 to this left hand side we will see that the left hand side is equal to 4 therefore we have a statement that 4 is greater or equal to 0 which is again a true statement so for x greater than negative 2 I mean when x less than negative 2 it is also a solution so the solution to this inequality is all x such that x less or equal to negative 2 or when x is greater or equal to 1. So in the interval notation we can write the solution to this inequality as the interval from negative infinity up to negative 2 including negative 2 itself union from 1 to infinity. Okay, let's see another example. Now we will do the simplified ver version of the previous method. So suppose we have this inequality. If you don't have the inequality in this form, what you need to do is first you move all the terms to the left hand side such that the right hand side is equal to zero. And then after that, we factor the left hand side. So in this case, we can factor into x minus 4 times x plus 1 less than 0. So the simplified version is that make a real line and then the previous method suggests us to to put the axis such that the left hand side equal to 0 on the real number on the number line. So here x the left hand side is equal to 0 is exactly when x equal negative 1 and when x equals 4 okay so what happened if we plug in either 4 or negative 1 to the left hand side if we put 4 or negative 1 the left hand side is equal to 0 but 0 less than 0 is a false statement therefore negative 1 and 4 is not part of the solution so we exclude negative 1 and 4 from the solution okay now take a number that bigger than 4 say 5 okay and check whether if you plug in 5 here we get a true sol whether we get a true statement or not 5 minus 4 is 1 5 plus 1 is 6 1 times 6 is 6 is 6 less than 0 a true statement 
it is a false statement okay so it it is not part of the solution let's check some number between negative 1 and 4 say 0 plug in 0 there we have negative 4 times 1 which is negative 4 is negative 4 less than 0 a true statement it is so this is part of the solution all numbers between negative 1 and 4 how about the number that is less than negative 1 check negative 2 plug in negative 2 either to this one or to that one it doesn't matter plug in negative 2 we will have negative 6 times negative 1 which is 6 now is 6 less than 0 a true statement no because 6 is bigger than 0 so the axis that less than negative 1 is not part of the solution therefore the only solution are the numbers between negative 1 and 4 so we can say in an interval notation that the solution of our original inequality is the interval between negative 1 and 4 but be careful here we need to emphasize that negative 1 and 4 itself is not part of the solution so the solution is the interval negative 1 up to 4